Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about note taking and specifically, I want to talk about LogSec and my experience with it so far. So um, I posted a video a couple months back about sort of my switch from OneNote to um, LogSec and also moving away from Notion, which I've used in the past, but to some varying degree. So this is sort of a continuation of that video. Um, I'll link to the previous video just so you can go back and look at that on my initial thoughts on LogSec. However, um, I'm kind of running into, I wouldn't necessarily describe it as a problem, but I'll definitely describe it as uh, I, there, there's some improvements that I'm trying to make to the tool. So let me just explain a little bit. So one of the things that I liked about OneNote was specifically the fact that it had this concept of notebooks, right? So I had a notebook for my startup. I had a notebook for my own personal stuff, I had it, right? And what I would do is kind of organize it by year and then months. This was the best way that I came up that could kind of help me. Um, frankly, I also like the fact that I could just write a bunch of random notes inside of there, but that's a different conversation. So so I had it organized by year and then November, December, etc. One of the problems that I found with that was that um, I couldn't remember which year and which month I had which specific note. And frankly, the search feature in OneNote was not necessarily the best. So that was kind of a problem that I've been running into. And so as a result of that, that's part of my reasons for switching to uh, LogSec because it has this sort of more, what I would consider a, more of a natural everyday kind of like just jotted notes type of stuff. Like I find, I don't know about you, but I constantly do this all the time. Open up Notepad and I love the fact that it does auto save it by the way. And I'll just type some random stuff. And I like I just want that information to kind of sit there. It doesn't necessarily belong anywhere, right? It's like a sticky note that you put on on your on your desk. And as a result of that, this has been sort of a challenge. Like, where do you keep your notes? And then how do you go back and find them? And how do you think? So I just want to talk through that process. So um, I do like OneNote. I use it. Uh, sorry, um, Notepad. By the way, I use it all the time. This tab feature that it has is fantastic, and it just auto saves. So if I just close this. Um, well, I don't even close it, but if I reboot the computer, I guess, um, it'll just it'll just keep every single thing as is, which I really, really like. Now, interestingly, it's not prompting me to save, but um, I think it had this feature where it would just auto-save whatever it is. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. If you reboot the computer, it'll actually bring back those notes. So with that, here's my thoughts all together, and I'm, I'm still trying to figure this out. So this is really just sort of a, a live session more than you know, me having sort of a prescribed formula to, to follow. So, so one of the challenges that I'm having is, um, every day I, every day I do something random. I don't know about you, but my brain just kind of goes in multiple directions all the time. And I find it really hard to kind of stay focused on one thing. And that's been a challenge for me. So, you know, yesterday I'm watching a video on business strategy. Is it four hour video? I watch that halfway. I stop it. I'm like, I'm going to get back to that. I never do. Um, or, you know, I'm watching some YouTube channel with a whole bunch of stuff. I got stuff that I want to do on AI. I got stuff that I want to do on documentation. I got stuff that I want to do on, um, a couple of new technologies I'm seeing. Uh, I don't even know what this is, right? This is, this is just stuff, right? This is frame or this is for video. I'm just constantly in all directions all the time. It's just my default and it, it's, it's, a good thing and a bad thing, right? Because it, it, you have to really, really focus. And sometimes I just don't focus. So maybe the reason why these videos, generally speaking, are not doing so well is because I'm so sporadic as well too. But anyway, as a result of that, I just got a lot of random set of notes. And the problem is, is how do you organize this and make sense of this notes and you kind of get back to the information. But I also don't have enough time in the day. Like, first of all, I have a son um, and it takes up a lot of my time. And, uh, and then, and then I do consulting, I run a startup. Um, there's just a lot of stuff going on. And so, you know, there's not enough time to kind of keep all this stuff organized. Right. And I guess the argument is that I need an assistant, but I don't have money to hire an assistant. So, um, yeah. So what do you do? So l let me just talk about one specific problem and I'm not trying to solve every problem today. I'm just trying to talk about sort of like my thought process in helping me to get this. So I like this idea. I wake up every day with a brand new slate of the date and it's just a brand slate. And I, I really like that thing. 
Um, I haven't figured out how to use templates so that they can have like a preset templates for everything to ask the question of what is your day like? What did you work on, etc., etc. So that's something that I really want to get into. Templates, we'll do that for another video. The problem that I have is that because I do so many things, I'm, I'm also pretty transparent with my notes. Like I don't keep any single thing here that's too personal. Any single thing that's really personal or private, passwords and all this kind of stuff are outside of this thing. So I don't have a problem showing, you know, this on in YouTube, etc. However, sometimes when I'm on meetings, um, say for example, like I do consulting with this company, PhD Solutions, right? So when I'm on meetings and, and let's say I have like point one, point two, etc. Right? So let's say I have that. Okay. Um, in that same day, I might be doing some stuff with my startup and, and then I might have some other stuff there. Right. And, and so I just don't like when I'm, when I'm at, let's say my PhD, um, uh, consulting company that I'm doing stuff with, I don't necessarily want to have them see the stuff that I'm doing with Snapsuite or whatever. Sometimes I don't really care. Most times I don't really care, but sometimes there's cases where it's like, well, I just don't want them to be visible right so so the solution is you click on because i put it in anger brackets i could now click on this link here and i would just see it just kind of highlights phd solution and suddenly all of the things here see this right is kind of linked so this is the this is the answer to to that problem generally and it actually it works it actually does it it's actually a pretty good solution how there, there's one sort of kind of problem with it which is I don't always remember to put those tags. So sometimes I have a bunch of unstructured set of comments and, and frankly, I haven't figured out. So for example, this notes here, console app, where does this live? Right? Like, like, so now let's go back to journal and then, right? I'm back here. Not certain how to find that, so let's go back to PhD just to show you. Right, so it kind of sits here, but then I, I'm what I'm confused by is why is this out here and not in here? Does that make any sense? Right, like every single thing here is kind of grouped by day, and then this kind of sits here on the outskirts, and I don't know why. It, is it the description for this? Right, it, maybe that's what it is. Is the description for this? Let's back up all that, right? So maybe this is the description for PhD, right? So, so that's kind of the things that I'm trying to solve for. So, um, as a result of that, I, I I thought to myself, well, maybe the way to do this is the folders, and I recognize that OneNote. Sorry, see, so it has a new context here, right? A new window. So I could do a new window and. Okay, so that that didn't. That's that's interesting. So the new window just allows me to just kind of jump, see the same view multiple times, kind of like a new tab or something like that, right? So that's not going to work either. Um, so my top process is just create a new database, which I, I it can do, and I didn't realize that it could until this point. So now I have to kind of move my notes folder. So I have an underscore notes folder here, right? This was keeping the notes, and I think what has to happen. Again, figuring this out kind of on the fly, but I think this is what has to happen is I need to create a folder called Snapsuite and then a folder called, let's call it Dwayne Unfinished, right, for my YouTube stuff. Right, and then the folder called, I want to say general for now because, because all the stuff that I have is kind of wrapped with all these things inside of here. And then what I need to do is I need to take all of this stuff, except for the ones that I just created, these two, and then I'm going to put that. Now this is a this is um a, a sync system. I, I'm using a sync system, which I'll talk about in another video, to kind of sync it between different computers, etc. Because I'm using OneDrive here, and then I'm trying to sync to my Mac and my Mac. Right, it, it is just gets a little complicated. So. Yeah, so I'm going to take all that stuff and just drag it into, oh, sorry, do the wrong thing. I'm trying to drag it into general. Okay, so now I have notes, a folder called notes. I open that up 
and then I have three different folders. General is where the current notes are. So if I open this up, it's gonna fail because now it's like, hey, what do you do with my notes, bro? Like, right? So it's just, oh, I guess I can figure this out. No, I see there didn't do it right so it's uh it just it just can't find anything anymore and then PG solutions so now interestingly it's finding this so I'm a little confused as to how it's figuring this out but I think it's because it's in the same folder but I think what I need to do is now I could do a new graph And then I could choose a folder, so notes, and then I could say, let's go with doing unfinished, select folder, right. So now I have a Dwayne unfinished folder, right? So it's like, hey, here are my notes. And then I could also go back to my sweet notes, which is my current notes that's no consider general so that, that actually gives you the same functionality as what I was kind of missing here before right which is this organization and then I don't have to think about the year or all that type of organization right because I don't have to create these notebooks by thing I could just focus on just the type of notes that I'm taking so for example my PhD and I could just switch to PhD and then that allows me so essentially what this is a, 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 a database per topic Does that makes sense right or a database per company or a database per category, right? Is the way that I would kind of describe it. Now I'd have to, yeah, so you see it's failing in multiple different ways because it, it's just struggling to kind of keep up with the syncing. Now we got a syncing problem, but that's a different thing. That's because my third party sync tool is trying to figure that out. So I, we'll, we'll deal with that mess in a different different video anyway just thought I'd share my thoughts on on um, how to try and get yourself a little bit more organized I'm going to start doing a little more deep dive into the log set tool because I think it's really important and there's some interesting things that I've learned about it hopefully you've gotten something about this video if you want to see more of my videos around this topic please subscribe to the channel have yourself a wonderful day thank you